rhythm here these last four or five games, but just to start seven for seven, what what were you seeing? What did it feel like in terms of getting off that kind of start? Um, what was I seeing? The hoop looked huge. Um, yeah, no, it, it I got a couple of uh, a couple of good catch and shoot looks, um, and then Coach Bud drew up a few plays. Um, got a couple and few other kickouts. Like it was a uh, got a th bunch of threes in a bunch of different ways. So if it, it felt really good, every shot felt really good and um, looked good seeing it go in too. Um, I've, I mean, you've been doing this your whole life, but it, it is it hard sometimes to stay within the offense or stay within yourself when you do start a game that way. You know what I mean? Instead of maybe forcing shots or, or, or even to a degree, your, your teammates staying within offense and not trying to force things to you. That yeah, I think a little bit. But I mean, I think that honestly, the, the, the first half, I don't think anybody was trying to force it to me. I don't think any of the shots I took were necessarily heat check shots. Um, you know, there were a few that I got that I made the extra pass, like good to great. So I feel like that's the important thing, and that's probably why I went seven for seven instead of seven for ten in the first half, right? Just because I kept, in my mind, just kept trying to play the right way and, and take the same shots I normally would. How do you have that type of restraint? If I got it going, like, I'm, I'm going to probably take some bad ones. Yeah, you know, honestly, I'm looking at this, and I'm – 95% sure my career high is seven threes, and I wish I would have taken about three more in the second half to get it. <laughs> um, but, I I mean, in our offense, like I've talked about this a lot, like it, it comes in bunches for me a lot of times. So I could go a full rotation without getting it, and then boom, it's four or five shots. And the whole first half was a bunch for me today, and um, thankfully I was able to knock them down. So – but that doesn't necessarily change in my mind, like, you know, playing the wrong way, like still driving and kicking and looking for guys and um, trying to get the best shot for us as an offense possible. You talk about the hoop looking huge. When you're having a night like this, I mean, how soon could you tell this was your night? Could you notice even in pregame warm-ups? Was it the first shot, or do you kind of have to get into a rhythm, or how did you kind of realize this was going to be your night? Um, yeah, I don't – if there's anybody out there that can tell in warm-ups, that's crazy to me because, uh, like, today I think my 10-minute shooting time pregame took, like, 13 or 14 minutes because I was missing so much. <laughs> and then – last game I made almost every shot pregame and I think I was I don't know like one for six last game so that never means anything to me um, and like I said like I didn't really feel like I wasn't seeking out like you know, there was one shot off a screen that I took that was maybe a little quicker of a shot than I normally would have taken um, but I felt like I just got a lot of good looks like within our offense and um, I was moving around trying to find the next open three. And so, I mean, to answer your question, like I'd, I'd, I mean, after you hit three in a row, you probably feel like you got it going and then it keeps going to seven and then you feel like you really got it going. Uh, this year, you guys have tried to do it defensively. Offense really hasn't clicked, certainly not like it did tonight. What did you like about what you guys are doing offensively or what did you feel like was working in a way that really hasn't this whole season? Um, you know, we, we move the ball around really well. Like we have six guys here in double figures. A lot of guys were getting um, good looks. I feel like there was a lot of, you know, our first action didn't work. We got into a good amount of driving kick where it was one, two, three guys driving and kicking the ball and then swinging around. Um, and so I feel like that for our for our like secondary offense, like if our whatever we're trying to do, that possession doesn't work, I think what's next is is what we're improving at and you know there were a couple of times where like me or Javon got into an iso like Javon had a few isos or me and him playing together instead of you know going into one-on-one -on -one stuff so I think there's a lot of stuff we can do even with six seven seconds on the clock when stuff breaks down I think we did a lot of that tonight you know actions where the guards running up and slipping out and just continuing to get some movement after the play breaks down Thank you.